Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School. Today we're looking at a book called Oops by David Shannon. And uh, this book here is a Diaper David book. And um, this is when David's a baby. And I don't know if you've seen these books or not, but you can see David's nose is gonna be bigger in the future. And in this one, it's just it's still small because he's just a baby still. So we're looking at this page here. It's about halfway, well, toward the end of the book. And this is a picture of David in the bath. And you can see um, he's got all his toys here and he's doing something naughty. <laughs> and we can talk about that too. But um, I'm going to put the book up on this stand here. And let's see if, um, it's kind of hard to get these, everything in the picture. But let's see if I can show you here like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start drawing this. Um, I'll do my best to get the everything in the picture. And yeah, let's get started. So maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here. It is hard to get the camera to, to do what I want it to, but we're going to do our best here. Okay, so um, first of all, let's let's look at what we've already done. We've already done this picture here. This was David eating chocolate in bed on Halloween, I think. And this was like a, we'd try to do this in 10 minutes. I did this one in 10 minutes. And this is the baby, ver, David, <laughs> baby David version of, oh, grow up, David. I just did it. Looks like a baby, not really a baby. And then this one here is the other one that I did. This was, uh, was this from Oops also? This one here was, was this the same book? Or was this Oh David? Gosh, I can't remember. I think, it, I think this one was O David. Yeah, that was O David. Yeah, that was a different book. So, um, yeah, and this one, David, looks like he used his diaper well. <laughs> and it says P-U. Yeah, so we had a fun time drawing that. This is one of the good drawings here. Okay, so we already did, uh, you know, one drawing at least from the David, uh, diaper David books. So today we'll be doing this book, this picture from um, Oops, the book Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this, and we'll get started. Um, I did a poll on uh, the community tab for uh, YouTube, and uh, if you guys voted, I want to thank you, because I got a lot of good votes, um, and you guys said you wanted markers. So what we have today are markers, and we got a lot of different kinds. I'm going to go ahead and take these out, and we've got these ones here. This is a different kind, so you can see these ones... I got these ones here. These ones are just kind of a, these ones are kind of a regular tip. And then this one here has two tips. This is a small tip, a very fine tip you can see. And then it has a, also a thick, thicker tip right here, which I really like. These are kind of professional style. They're called pies. Never heard of it, but they're good pens. And then this one here, I got nice thick pens. So we can use these ones too. This is a Japanese brand. So... We're gonna try these ones. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I put newspaper down. I'm using a coffee table here. And um, I've got my coffee to go on the coffee table. Excuse me. I'm gonna take some sips of coffee while we're doing this. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start like we do every time with David's outline. So I think what we're gonna do is, let's see. I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. This is always a challenge to do the camera work here because it's live. But yeah, that's pretty good right there, isn't it? Okay, we got everything in the shot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start by, um, I'm gonna do the same thing we did last time, which is to cut the paper short. Um, let's move these pens. Um, we're gonna put the book on the paper. If you ever do a Diaper David book, notice that they're not regular size. The um, the other David books here, like this one, this is David Gets in Trouble. See how it's like, it's twice, almost twice as tall. It's much, much taller than the Diaper David books. So we want to be careful that we're getting the size right when we draw these pictures. So we're going to go ahead and put the book down like that. And then we're going to take our pen and we're going to go ahead and draw a line here. Make sure it's lined up. And I'm just going to kind of, don't touch the book with the pen, but... Just, there we go, draw a line, okay? And then what we can do is after we finish, we can cut that off. I'm not gonna cut it right now, but now I have a nice line you see on the paper. So that's what I do first. I like to kind of create the right 
uh, size. Okay, so I'm going to use my black pen. I'm, um, David Shannon, when he draws his pictures, if you notice, he draws a black line around everything here. So, yeah, you can kind of see, like, um, David's outline is black. I might get another light in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up another light. It's kind of a shadow. Sorry about that. Um, Ami's going to help me do that. Thank you to her. Um, so what, what you see is the black lines around each of the, each of the items, including David himself. So we're going to go ahead and do that first, okay? Um, before that, though, why don't we make halfway? So halfway in this picture would be about right here. And I'm going to mark that like that because we're going to cut this off. So that's my halfway mark. So now we know where the middle of the page is. Okay, here we go. That's better light, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you, Ami. Okay, how's that? Is that better? A little bit better, isn't it? Okay, great. Okay, so um, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw the... I think we'll draw the, the bathtub first. We're going to draw this first line. What I like to do is I, draw, I like to draw um, big stuff that's in the foreground first. So sometimes that's David. Sometimes it's an object. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that. I'm going to move the book here. Hope you can see okay. I'm doing my best here. Okay, so it's gonna come up here, and it's gonna come around there. Okay, we're gonna take a chance. <laughs> okay, I did my best. Uh, it looks like I went a little too high over here, but I've got the line of the bathtub, as you can see. Okay, um, let's go ahead and keep drawing. Do you wanna, do you wanna draw awe right now? Why don't we do that? We're going to use pen for everything. I'm going to use the thicker end of the pen and I'm going to draw ah. So it says ah. And David is saying ah, isn't he? Ah. <laughs> Even the writing looks like looks like what David is doing. Do you know what David is doing in the bath here? Does anybody know what he's doing? I had one question on the YouTube channel. Somebody asked, "What is David doing here?" <laughs> And um, I think he's probably, probably peeing in the bath. <laughs> and even look, David Shannon put some yellow around the uh, letters there, which is a nice little touch. Okay, so we got ah. Uh, um, we're going to go ahead and draw it. Let's draw David's head next because David's head is kind of above the bath. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. David's head, here's the middle of the page. It takes up a good amount of the page. So it's going to be like, this is always tricky to do, but we're going to do our best. It's about almost at the top. Boy, it's hard. It's hard to figure out. We're going to do our best. Come on here. Okay, I think I did mine a little. Oh yeah, It's a little bit too close to the edge, but yeah, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, let's draw his ear here. I stopped caring after the first or second drawing of David. I stopped worrying so much about it because it's you can never get it perfect. So I always I always have to tell myself not to worry too much. We're going to draw the rest of the bathtub here. Okay. And then what happens is the bathtub comes around and it goes all the way over to the left here. So we're going to go ahead and draw that part now. Okay. From his, uh, his ear here. I'm going to come over like this. I can tell this is not going to be one of my best drawings, but it's it's going to be okay. I never know when I draw how it's going to turn out before I begin. Sometimes I'm really surprised, like, how good it is. Sometimes I'm really surprised with how bad it is. <laughs> so you never really know how it's going to turn out. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and draw his body. I think, yeah. So you see we have, we started with his head, and we've got the bath. So that's the most important. Again, when you're doing this, if you try it, mark out the middle of the page and also give yourself the same size. So mark off the top of the book like that. That's what I did anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and draw his body now. And here, why don't I move this down here like this. Is that better? Yeah, you can kind of see that. Okay, and let's go ahead and do that. So his body is like kind of an oval shape here, I guess. 
and it's going to come down like this to the edge of the bathtub. And then he's got another shoulder here, comes down there. That's okay. That looks okay. All right, now we're going to draw his arm, his, uh, what is this, his left arm. And it looks like this. We drew over the lines again, just like David Shannon does. Well, I made David's arm really muscular. <laughs> and then this arm comes down like this. And it stops here. It doesn't go all the way down. Okay. And then we've got his chest line here. And then we've got like a little stomach here. And I guess I'll draw that very lightly. He didn't draw it with pen, but... Okay, now we've got a little nipple here. Little nipple here. Okay. And then we've got his legs sticking out of the water. He's sitting down on his bum. And we're going to draw it like that. And then we're trying to draw the line there. And then this leg here goes like this. Okay. Can you see that? <laughs> it's kind of looking like a monkey right now. Um, let's draw his mouth. Okay, look at halfway, it's less than halfway down his face, so it's right about here. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, he's got a deep mouth this time, like that. Okay, then his nose goes in the middle. And this one's a little bit, like, messed up like that. And then we've got, like, scribbly eyes, so we're going to do scribbly eyes. Okay, scribbly eyes here. Make them scribbly. And then eyebrows, or eyelashes, rather. I did them a little different. That's okay. There we go. And then two teeth, one here and one here. Great. Okay. That's David. Looks like David now. All right, now we're going to do his neck here and here. The neck looks good this time. That's the best neck I've done yet. And then we've got a drain over here. So we're going to draw this part first. Did you ever have a drain like this in your house? Do bathtubs still get made with this thing? When I was a kid back in the 80s, I remember this drain was in my in my parents' bathtub. I used to take a bath in that one. Had a drain just like this, a switch. It's like a switch up and down. Okay, and then it's got like a little circle around here. Some of these things you just have to kind of copy. You don't You don't have to worry too much about shapes and stuff. Just copy it as much as you can. Okay, then we're going to do some water line here. So we've got some water here. This is the edge of the water around the bathtub. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, should we draw the duck first, and then we do the water after that? Okay, the duck is a circle head. You can see here, it's like... And it's at his shoulder, so it's right about here. Circular head, kind of oval-shaped. Okay, nice bill here. Kind of draw this up. I'm just crossing lines. I love David's work, David Shannon's work, because you don't have to worry about lines. You can just cross over everything, which makes it really easy. Okay. And then we're going to do a nice shape to the, the breast of the duck here. Come up and around. Circular shape. Come back down like that. Okay. And then we've got our tail feathers here. And this is a nice duck. Okay, and then we got some little water lines here, like that. Got a little scratch on the duck, it looks like. Little hairs even on the duck. And then um, the eyes. The eyes look like this and this. And then we've got little dots for the pupils here and here. That's okay. That's not bad. All right. And now we've got also... Um, I'm not going to do the pirate ship right now, but I'm going to do the frog. So let's do the frog. The frog is over here, and it's in line with the duck. Okay, so let's start with the eyes. The eyes of the frog. Okay, then we'll do the body. Body looks like this. It's kind of an oval shape. Oh, I drew it kind of big. This is a big toy frog. <laughs> it's got a spot on its back. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit here, see if I can make this easier to see. Okay, how's that better? Okay, so we've got this. Now we've got some, we got a leg here. Got a leg right here. Nice, I'm not doing too badly here. It's a, uh, it's a Monday morning for me. <laughs> but I get excited, I was excited about this video. 
I even went to bed a little bit earlier last night just so I could wake up and do this. I like doing this. Okay, I'm gonna do that leg. That's okay. And then we're gonna do a foot here. And then we got ourselves a leg here, like that. Okay, and we got ourselves a mouth here. A little nostril there, it looks like. This is half closed, this eye, with a pupil here. It's looking pretty good. And we've got another eyebrow here, or a, what do you call it, eyelid. Okay, and then the line goes through there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And I think we're done with that. And then we, we're gonna put him on a lily pad. So he sits like this. It's a little lower than David Shannon's drawing. Okay, but that's okay. All right, there we go, there's our frog. We can finish the purple lily pad that he's sitting on afterwards. But first, let's go ahead and do the water line because that's why I did all these animals. Okay, let's do the water line. Um, the way that I'm doing this, you don't have to do it the same way. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, so don't worry if you're not doing it the same way. Okay, there we go. We got the water line. And you can see I left a little space right here because there is a pirate. And the pirate is wearing a hat that looks like this. And I'm going to just draw that pirate hat. So we got the pirate. Okay, so there's the water. There's the bath. Um, and what we want to do now is maybe draw the rest of the background. Before I start drawing the rest of the water, I'm going to draw the background. So right over here, we have a shampoo bottle. So what I'm going to do is put this here. Put this here so we can see the shampoo bottle. The shampoo bottle is pretty easy. We just draw a circle down here. This gives it a sense of depth, 3D. Okay, gonna come up like this. And then we've got a lid, which comes, I'm gonna end the shampoo bottle. In David's drawing, it goes to the edge, but I'm gonna end it earlier. Put a little curve there, comes down like that, okay? That looks pretty good. It's not exactly the same, but it doesn't matter too much to me. Okay, great. Get the label on there. No name on that shampoo bottle. Can't can't see it. I guess when you're a kid in the bath, you don't care what the shampoo bottle says. <laughs> so maybe this is David's vision, seeing nothing on there. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not. Should I do? No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'll do first. I'll do the soap holder, um, and this is built into the tile wall. And you can see this is a tile wall back here. We're going to draw that next after this. First, let's draw the edge of the tiles, which is the corner. Looks like which is right here above David's head. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Right here, that's the edge of, that's the corner of the room because you can see now the wall comes this way. All right, now we're gonna draw the soap container. And I did put the middle of the page here, so now you can see this kind of goes through the middle, which makes it easier. So that mark really helped out a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and draw this. This one's a bit tricky. Why don't we start with the line here and then we're gonna fill in the rest. So it's gonna start like about halfway up. I'm trying to be real careful here. A little bit curved like that. Newspaper's bothering me here. Okay, I'm gonna come up like this. And then got a line down here. This one's tricky. Some of these things are not easy to draw. Okay, looks like I got it there. Okay, and then um, let's see. I'm gonna draw the edge of it over here. And then this thing comes down like this. This, I'm, this one I'm not trying to do any shapes, I'm just doing my best to get the right um, idea here. Sometimes, like I said, it's, you can't really do shapes, it's just do your best. And this is one of those situations, okay. It's got like a little curvy thing here. I'm not doing that exactly right. And then we got the soap bar of soap, which comes down. This one's in three dimensions. And this is the bar of soap. Boy, David Shannon does nice drawings. When you start drawing these things, you realize how professional these guys are because it's not as easy as it looks. See, look at my soap bar compared to David Shannon's. It's not the same. 
But it, I do understand what it is. Okay, like that, great. And then, yeah, it, it's okay. It's not, it's not exactly the same. This one I'm not as happy with as the other stuff. But this is not the most important thing. All right, and then maybe a little bit of three dimension here. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's not the same. Let's compare. What do you think? This and this? You can see the difference. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, um, now I think we can draw the word bath. So why don't we do that? This one um, is so nicely done. It's so um, eloquently done. It looks like um, David Chinner really put some effort into this lettering here. So we're going to try to be as careful as we can. And I think it's going to be okay. Do you like lettering? Have you ever tried it? I remember when I was in school, I tried um, calligraphy a little bit, which was really fun to do. How about you? Do you, do you like lettering? Do you like, do you like doing letter art? It's a real art, lettering. There are people who do this professionally. I'm not one of them, but I sure like it. I'm better at doing letters than I am at drawing, I think, because I had a lot of practice in school. I used to do it <laughs> during math class. I, I didn't like math class, so I would do a lot of lettering. And uh, now I'm better at lettering than I am at math. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the H. And I try to do this as quickly as possible because I don't want to spend too long doing the letters. There we go. There's a nice H. There, bath. It's not the same. Uh, it's mine's a little bigger, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's do the tile, the tiling. So we've got a line here. Let's start with the vertical lines. We got one through the A. Kind of comes down here, okay? I'm doing them light. We got one right next to the soap dish, goes next to the H. We've got one under the soap dish right here. We've got one um, over here, and that's the last one. And then we've got one line that goes through all of it. So we're gonna go from here, and we're gonna go through here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and then we're gonna go from here. And there's the tiles. There, what do you think? That's not bad, is it? We got the bath, and we've got the soap, and we've got the shampoo. That took a little bit of time. That was not as easy as I thought. One thing we're missing is the faucet over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This one's pretty easy. Just come down here. Do another line here. Nice curve. Give us a line here, another curve here. That's the faucet, good. Shading can be done later. And then the last thing to do before we start coloring is to do the pirate. This is a tricky one. Oh, we do have a sponge over here too. That sponge is easy. Just do it like this. And then give it a little dimension down there and then some dots here to show the holes in the sponge. Okay, the sponge is finished. Now we're gonna do the pirate. We've got a little cross and skull here. Gonna give it a little crossbones here. Like that, okay. And then we've got a little dash of white over here. And then what we're gonna do is draw his face. He's got kind of an oval shaped face. He's got a body that's just like a, what is that, what's that toy called, Playmobil or whatever? Looks like that. Okay, comes down like that. His hand goes like that. Can you see that? Is it close enough? Okay. And then we've got the boat here, comes up like this, comes around like that. Eh, it goes down to the edge, that's fine. Okay, again, none of this is perfect, but it's all good. <laughs> all right, we got the head of this guy here. He's standing lower or closer to the edge of the picture than the pirate. We've got his body here. He comes down here. He looks like the ship hand, like he's a, a guy who helps out on the ship. Okay, got himself an arm here. Okay, let's draw the edge of the ship here. We got this here. This comes around here. I did a pretty good job with this one. This comes down like this. The edge of the ship here, the boat. Got a little line here. Got a line here. A line 
here, okay? And then he has a stomach here and here, and then that's his belt right there, and then his legs come down here, and then they go like that, and then he has a hat like this. Okay, can you see what I'm doing there? And then the pirate, there's a board, uh, what do you call that thing, that thing that goes in the middle, like a sitting area, a sort of seat, goes like this, a little line there, okay? And we can kind of finish his pants here, okay? And then we got a smile on here with a nose and an eye. Okay, the pirate's got a patch that goes like this, comes like that, his other eye is here. A little nose there. It's got a smile that goes like this. Okay, we did well. His legs are here and here. He's got a sash or a buckle that goes across his chest like this. Okay, and there we go. That works. Okay, look, we got the pirate ship. And um, I think we're good. Yeah, we got the duck, got the pirate ship, got the frog, got the sponge. Got the shampoo, the soap, the tiles, the bath word. Got David, of course, over here. And then we've got the drain uh, lever. We've got the faucet. And then we've got the word ah down here. Okay. So I think what we're going to do, it looks, <laughs> it looks a little bit different. <laughs> Every time it looks a little different. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start coloring. And you guys asked for markers. So I am going to use markers, and I'm going to start with what's easiest, which is the duck. And I'm going to use a yellow. I'm using this marker here. In the, in, like, I might use these bigger ones here if I want to color in the water or the bathtub, maybe. I'll use that. But right now I'm going to use this, these smaller ones. Okay, so let's color in this duck. Uh-oh, looks like this yellow is kind of losing, um ink. So I'm going to try this other yellow. Don't you hate that about, oh man, this one's dead too. All right, we've got two dead yellows here. <laughs> Let's try this one. This giant, this giant one might have some ink in it. Okay, try that massive pen. There we go. That's got some ink in it. Okay, get that on camera there. Great, this is working. I don't have a specific technique when it comes to coloring. I just do what's easiest, I think. And I've always not been a big fan of coloring. I don't know about you guys, but coloring is, I don't know, I like drawing. Drawing is my favorite. Coloring to me has always been kind of, kind of troublesome. I'll move my coffee down there. Get this duck colored in. There we go. Okay, and let's get that, eh, it's not perfect. Like I said, I don't really like coloring. All right, let's do that orange now. The orange, here, I got an orange here. I'm gonna use that for the bill. See the bill of the duck? The beak, whatever you call it. There's a nice orange. Yeah, that's a nice color. But these pens are losing their ink. There we go, great. I'm gonna leave the eyes a little bit white, white pupils there, white um, irises. It's a little bit yellow in David's picture. That's okay. Okay, the boat here is a reddish. So we're gonna use markers for that for that boat. And we're gonna color it in like this. Use the other side. Move this up here. Okay, see the boat is red. I'm gonna do this here, red. Oh, that's kind of a darker red. Doesn't really matter. Okay, nice red there. I think I got everything I need here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, the side of the boat is a little less colored, I guess. So I'm gonna do that a little bit less. If you missed anything when you were drawing the main picture, you can come back and change it later if possible. So I don't worry too much about getting all the details. Okay, red boat, there we go. That's the only real red, okay? Let's go ahead and do black. The hat of the captain is black. I'm gonna use this black here. This is dangerous because the skull and crossbones is there. I don't want to color that in. And I didn't make it very big, so I'm not gonna do a, a kind of careful job here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, 
that's black. Um, the word bath appears a little bit blackish, greenish. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna use this. You ever use these ones before? These are stinky pens. Well, <laughs> smelly pens. You know, the ones that smell. Um, I'm gonna use that color up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice, look at that. That's almost a perfect color, just as David Shannon used. Got to be real careful here. These pens are not very detailed pens, but they sure cover a lot of area. And now this is going to smell good, too. What's the scent here? Does it say? I don't know what the smell is. I like these pens. I remember these as a kid. Scented pens. Okay, bath. B. Can you see it okay? A. Ah, I got to be careful. This is a nice thick pen, so it's hard to color in detail, like B-A. Great, okay, that's okay. T, I'm trying to be real careful here. T, that's okay. H, boy, that's quick, quick work, isn't it? Because this pen is so thick. I'm used to the smaller pens. B-A-T-H is bath, and I did it. Look, isn't that nice? That's almost exactly, well, a little bit different, but it's the same idea as David's, uh, David's drawing. Okay, that soap is a little bit yellowish, isn't it? So, you know what? It's about the same yellow as the duck, so I'm going to go ahead and give it that yellow. Maybe a little bit lighter. Can I color lighter with this pen? Hard to color lightly with the pen, isn't it? Eh, whatever. It's good enough. Okay, great. Now the tile in the background is a bit pinkish, but it's a mild pink. You see this tile here? It's like a mild pink color. I've got a pink here and I've got, boy, this is gonna be tricky. This is one difficulty with pens is that you gotta be careful to do it not too heavy. I'm gonna use this pink, I think. Do I have another one here? Look, I got this box here. Um, do we? Let's look together and see if I have a, do I have a lighter pink? Here's a kind of purple here. Yeah, I don't think I do. I think I might want to just use this one. I'm going to go for this, and I'm going to go for the tile. And this has got a little bit of a light spot here, but again, I don't think I can do that very well. So I'm going to go ahead and just... This is not going to look the same. Yeah, it's different, but what am I going to do, right? Like, I think for right now, I'm just going to... This is tricky. I think we're gonna go for the concept <laughs> rather than the actual um, imitation of, we're not gonna try to copy this exactly. What do you think? It's, it's, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm, I'm using pens, so I can't really, I might, you know, if I, if I was gonna do this differently, I might use like a, pastel or I might use a uh, pencil, colored pencil. But um, you guys wanted pen, so I'm going to give you pen. <laughs> and that's what it's going to look like right now. I gave it just the kind of appearance. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, I might, I might really, you know, if I was, if I really wanted to do this, I would probably take some kind of a pastel. These are pastels here. And I would probably take the pastel and I would do like this. Color, yeah, see like that? I would color it in a little bit there. So we can come back and do that. That would kind of like, that would kind of cover up the, um, yeah, the, uh, the gaps there. But we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, the water is, we're gonna use a blue, a light blue. But again, this is gonna be a tricky one because it's not the exact same. David Shannon didn't use pen for this. He used uh, acrylic paint, I believe. Let's use this blue here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. This is gonna be a darker blue for my picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, look at that blue. Boy, it's a nice blue though. Okay, let's get the shape of the waves. Okay. What do you think of that blue? It looks like a looks like a tropical water blue. Boy, you know what? Marker's funny, isn't it? 
I didn't know that it would be... It's Marker's really good for the darker colors, like the duck and the pirate ship and stuff, but it's really hard to get the nuance with the markers. I didn't realize that. This is my first David drawing with markers. Okay. The good thing about marker is that it's really easy to do big areas. Look at how quickly I can do this. Okay. Yeah, but the, the downside of markers is that it's really hard to get the little details. We're almost done with the water. The most important thing when you're drawing with markers too is that you don't go over the lines because it's permanent. You can't erase marker and then and then you're ruined if you go over the lines. It's like, ah. See, I'm being real careful here. What do you think? It's definitely darker than the than the book, but we can't help it because it's marker. So let's just not worry about that. Boy, I didn't realize how difficult this would be. Okay. I can see why uh, David Shannon used paints. I wonder how he learned how to use paint. Did he go to school for that or what? I've never been good at painting. How about you guys? Are you good at painting? Okay. There we go. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> the rest of the lily pad. That's all right. <laughs> I was going to draw that later, but I forgot about it. Okay, we've got here the water around the frog. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that lily pad should have come down to here to the pirate ship, but that's okay. Okay, we got the water. Now let's do, oh my gosh, David's skin. We got this kind of tan color. This is going to be a tricky one. All of my pens are very heavy also. I don't have any nice um, light pens. So we're going to, I've got this kind of bronze color too. I wonder what the best color is for David's skin. I'm going to try this first. <laughs> He's a little bit, little bit darker than in the picture, but... <laughs> eh. Boy, that's tricky. Looks like David's been out in the sun for a long time. we got a yellowish, too. We've got, like, this yellow here. We've got an orange, too. Boy, his skin's going to look funny, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. We don't have a choice because we're using pens, so we got to do it. I asked you guys, right? I, I don't know if you saw the poll or not. Oh, my gosh. It's too brown for his skin tone. But we're going to try to lighten it up, maybe. Um, I asked you guys in the poll on the community tab <laughs> if, um, if you wanted uh, crayons. If you wanted crayons or, um, or if you wanted uh, colored pencils or paints. And uh, everybody wanted markers. If you can draw, oh my goodness. If you can draw David, why don't, if you can try posting your picture of David, I'd love to see it. <laughs> Look at David's skin. Oh my goodness. Uh, what did I do to you, David? It looks like he's wearing bronzer, you know what I mean? Like when, when white people wear uh, tanning stuff out in the sun, this is what they look like. <laughs> looks like an LA version of David. <laughs> Oh no, I kind of ruined him here. Let's add a little bit of yellow, see if that. Yeah, it's better, but boy, marker was difficult, huh? If, you were, if you're watching now, I'm sorry that I ruined David here. <laughs> it's not the same at all. The pen doesn't do it. It doesn't do it at all. Like before we were, we were doing this pastel and this really... This really had the right, see that, that tone there is closer. And then we were using a kind of, this one here, this is the one we were using. Now I can understand why David Shannon uses, um, why he uses pastel, or why he uses acrylic paint, I mean. Yeah, you see that tone right there? We're gonna use that for the rest of David's face here. <laughs> it looks like he's got, he's got some fur on his body or something. 
let's see. The pen is hard to use because it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't imitate his skin tone. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's not completely ruined. There we go. See that? And then, yeah, see, it's the, the pastel is a, is definitely a different color. <laughs> Look at his body. Oh, man, come on. Let's see if we can do this here. Yeah, that's a little better. We can kind of cover it up with this. Oh, man. Now I've got a hole in the paper. Ah, I ruined you, David. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. Well, we did our best. I mean, you know, you can't can't fault a guy for trying, right? Okay, we can go back to pen for the mouth. I'm going to use this big hat, black heavy one here. And let's see. Is this still got ink in it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I can see why David Shannon used paint. One of my problems is that when I make a mistake, I sometimes think, like, oh, I'll just give up. But I don't want to give up because I'm... I don't want you guys to give up either. I imagine that if you try drawing David, you're going to have problems just like me. So I don't... I guess... <laughs> look at his body uh it looks like it looks like fur it looks because i drew lines there's nothing wrong with the the color is a little bit too dark for his skin but then the problem isn't the color so much it's the the texture it's really weird like it looks like fur it's better if you have a smooth um crayon would have been easier i suppose yeah boy we learned didn't we from this uh experience see like the tile to the pink um, it has to be kind of, it has to be a, a kind of, um, a smoother, uh, <laughs> look at that picture. <laughs> oh man. All right. So look, the frog is green, but we're going to have the same problem as before, right? Because we're just going to use this green here. I mean, you can't, there's nothing you can do really, um, with the pen, Pen is good for, like, strong colors. I see. Okay. Like I said, I'm no artist. I'm learning as I go. So I guess pen is good for, like, strong colors. If you want to do, like, a strong, thick coat of a color, that works really well. See, like, the frog doesn't have any um, coloration here. He's got kind of a white chest or throat in the picture. But in my version, he doesn't really have that. I'm going to do a black spot there. Maybe darken up his eyes a little bit. Yeah, that's that's okay. Purple for the uh, lily pad. We're gonna have the same problem for the lily pad, which is that it's gonna be dark. But let me get this purple pen here. Okay, we're gonna use purple here. And looks like this. Wow, that's dark, isn't it? Does this smell? Yeah, it does. It smells like grape. Now I'm getting hungry. Wow, that's dark. And then I can even, I, I can even do this. I can c cover up the blue. It was supposed to come over here originally, but I, I covered it in, in water. Man, this marker is amazing. I forgot how strong marker was. When you're drawing with marker, it covers up everything. It's a beautiful drawing tool, but it's also can be can destroy <laughs> your picture if you're not careful it's a a blessing and a curse <laughs> there we go that's okay boy this is this is this was one of my hardest drawings the um the shampoo bottle up here is also a, a yellowish this one here so i'm gonna go ahead and draw that a yellow can you see that in the picture here it's kind of a yellow color Um, go ahead and try pens. I want to see, I want to see what you do with David's, David's color. It's really hard to get that color right. You know, again, I, you see the hole here? I try to get his, I try to use a brown and a yellow together to kind of get his skin tone, but then I kind of ruined it. So on his face, I use the pastel and I would add a little bit of pink maybe to the, to the uh, peach color I used, but yeah. Skin, skin tone is really hard to draw, I guess. I don't know. I've never tried it. Um, 
But anyway, I think this is a pretty good drawing. We could draw the silver on the faucet. But yeah, this, this was a tough one. I'm happy with the... What am I happy with? I'm happy with the animals. I like the frog and the duck. I like David's shape. He has the right shape. The, the pink also is a little bit difficult to do. Not every video is going to be a winner. <laughs> not, it's not always going to be a success. This one was a bit tough. Let's look back at some of the other drawings too. You can see like this one here is colored pencil, right? Colored pencil was much easier. This one here was, oh no, this one, not colored pencil, this is pastel. This is pen around the edges and this is pastel. So again, the oil pastels look like this here. This is the pastel. And this is the best one I've used is pastel. And I did a little bit of shading with a colored pencil here. So I use pen, colored pencil, and pastel for this. And you can see that the nuance or the sort of subtlety is great. This one is also oil pastel with pen. This one is the first one with pen, and you can really see the difference between the style. It's completely different, yeah. I'm not unhappy that I did it, I'm glad I tried it. But, um, and then let's look at these two. I've got here, uh, this is pastel here. So this one is pastel with pen again. Again, the edges are done with the pen. This is done with pastel. This one also pastel. And you can see that color, again, the skin skin color is important. Hard to get that. I got it here. Yeah, the pastel is the best by far. This is pastel. This is just pen. This one is just pen. But I didn't do any coloring. I did a little bit of pastel coloring in the background here. This one is pastel, but again, I had a hard time with, with David. And then this one is, oh, this is colored pencil. Look at that. So you can see that colored pencil kind of works. But again, David is the hardest to draw, I think. You can draw the background and everything, like the Christmas tree is good. But yeah, it's really hard. So try to use, if you have, um, if you have like a paint or a pastel, that's the best thing to use for David. David Shannon uses um, acrylic paint, I believe. So yeah, that's the best choice. But if you don't have that, then oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, then maybe not pen though. <laughs> I'm glad I I'm glad I asked you guys and I'm glad I used pen, but this will be the last time I use pen, I think. Um in the future I'll use colored pencils or pastels again. But yeah, here he is. I got a little hole in the paper there. This is my this is my most challenging drawing. I was hoping this would turn out a little better. This one I love this picture, David's look, you know. But um yeah, I'm glad I tried it. You know, you gotta give everything a try. Um and now we know that pens are not going to work. So that's not your fault if you voted. That's that's nobody's fault. <laughs> we had no way to know. But I'm sure glad we tried. Now we know. If you ever try to draw David with pens, please please send it to me. If you can, I don't know if you can send on the community tab, but I'd sure love to see your drawings. We can make a collection of David drawings and see what they look like. Right now I have like like how many do I have, right? Look at all these pictures I got. I got, you know, maybe almost 10 drawings here, a lot. So, um, yeah, in the in the future on, I think it's, I can't remember the day, it could be tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing um, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and I'm gonna do cardboard cutouts of that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then later on today at 10.30, it's about an hour from now, I'll be doing a, a new game that I got called Alba, a wildlife adventure. And that's a game uh, where you go around and take pictures of animals and stuff. So I've never played it, but I'm looking forward to it. So, whew, boy, that was a tough drawing. That water is a nice blue, isn't it? Look at my look at my water there. <laughs> and then he's wearing some kind of a costume, it looks like. But yeah, I think we saved it. I think we it's not completely ruined. I think it's okay. Yeah, try try your best with David. If you don't have the right color for David. You could make him any color you want, or you could just draw his outline. But like I said, it's the hardest thing to get the texture and the color and everything right. So, yeah, good luck to you if you try. Send it if you can. I'd like to see your drawings. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. I'll be on in about an hour from now. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. 
and goodbye from this silly version of David. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care.